Recording your sets with the DJ Pro app could be a little bit frustrating, so in this video, I'm going to clear it up for you. In order to get to the record section of this app, what we're going to do is we're going to press the middle button here. And now you may be in settings, so it may look like this. What you're going to have to do is go to this one here on the bottom left, and that is going to be modes. And then now we are in modes. And this is different than the screen that we had before the version 5 update. Now the record button is up here. It's kind of hidden, but it's up here to the top left. So you press this button here. And then now we have a couple of options. We could record audio. So that's your DJing audio only. Or you could record video. So this is going to record the video and the audio. That's if you're DJing with music videos or if you're using the amazing video mix feature and doing uh, video DJing, you could record some pretty cool stuff with that. But I'm just going to leave it on audio for now. And then to start a new recording, we're going to press start new recording over here. And then down here is going to be our list of our pre-recorded tracks. And these are going to be saved directly onto your device. And then if you click on it, like this one just says recording and the date. If we click on it, we could edit, we could edit the name of it. So you could come up with a name or you could just the type of mix like hip hop mix or something like that. And then we can load it onto a deck. So to load our recordings onto a deck, we're going to press this one and then press load. And it's going to be loaded on an available deck. So that is our options inside of the record section. So now what happens if we want to record something? What we're going to do is we are going to press start new audio recording. We get this message that is kind of disheartening and it says recording not available while using songs from streaming service. Please, please load songs from your local media library to create a recording. What this means is you are not allowed to record anything that you have loaded onto the decks from streaming services. This is not the app's fault. It's a copyright issue. They don't want you using copyrighted music and recording it and using it for your own. So you cannot do that. I'm going to load up a song that's directly on my iPad. This song right here. So now I have a song from my local library, a song that I own. And then we are going to press the middle button. And then now we are going to press record and then start a new audio recording. And now as soon as we start the recording, it is going to record. But don't feel rushed or anything because when you want to make these recordings, you could edit it after. So let me give you an example. Let's just say I was playing this song for a little bit, made a recording of it. Now we go over here. And then you could see that this button is now illuminated in that red color color to rec represent that it is recording. So we are going to press that button and then we are going to stop recording. And then now it gets instantly saved right here. So this is it. I'm just going to name it one so we don't get confused. And then now we have a recording and we can load it onto the deck. So if you look at this deck over here, we didn't actually start playing music till we were ready, which is... 10 seconds in. So now what you can do is you could set a temporary cue point by pressing the set button and then your song will start where you want it. Or you could go press the, press the features button over here, go to cue points. We could set a cue point and then we could edit it. You could put it green, edit it again, and we could write start. So now whenever we load up this song, we know where to start it. So don't feel rushed. That's what I used to do. All right, record and then start. You don't have to do that. And then also you can layer up these recordings. If you do a recording, let's say from the looper or the sampler. So I'm going to pro mode, pressing this button over here to open my looper. Now I'm just going to randomly do it so I could show you the example. So don't judge me on this. Press record, start a recording. So now we have our recording. We're going to stop the recording. So now we can load up our new recording. Load it up. 
Now our new recording is on this deck over here. And now to layer it up, we could press, we're gonna press record again. Press record, start recording. And then now we're gonna play it. Let's open up our sampler. So now we're gonna play our recording we just made. Now we'll go to our recording, stop recording, load it up. And now our new recording, we'll do the same thing, set a little temporary cue point over here. And now listen, we have our beat that we recorded. So now we have our beat recorded with our sample there. And you could keep layering this up. You could almost like produce your own song by layering these up with the looper and the sampler and adding vocals and stuff like that. It's really fun. I made videos about that, but no one really watched it. So I'm not gonna talk about that too much. So experiment with it. Anything on the looper, anything on the sampler, uh, anything on the, on the scratch sample, if you hold in the button over here, you can get to your scratch tools. These are all going to be allowed to record, just nothing from streaming services. So when you're using streaming services, you can't directly record into the app, in, into the app, but music on your device is fair game and music and anything you create in the app with the looper or sampler, you can record with. And if you wanna learn more about the looper, check out this video over here.